How you doing? It's like you can see him in the lake. I mean, in the ocean. <laughs> and you can see him in the sky. Oh! Ooh. I'm gonna watch him the whole time this way. All 20 minutes of it. We'll check back with you because this is gonna be a minute. Greetings, everybody. It's Monday. It's Monday. July 11th, 2016, and it's been, well, it's actually been more than 168 hours. It's been twice that, because I was in Honolulu last uh, last Monday, which was the 4th of July. But today, today, I'm back home. And right now, I'm driving home, trying to not get killed by people on the road. And apparently that particular individual likes to take his share out of the middle because that makes it nice and safe for everybody. Why is driving always such an adventure? Like, it's like people forget how to drive. All the time, especially when it snows. <laughs> anyway, so here we go, we're going home. Had to put this together short notice because, well, after all, I like to procrastinate and I like to do things last minute. That's how things work. So I tell you guys about my trip. My trip was awesome. Freaking awesome. It couldn't have been any more awesome. It was the most awesome arrest ever. I loved it. So much fun. Took my daughter to Hawaii. Lots of fun. Uh, she, she swam with dolphins. Um, we hiked uh, Diamond Head. We went to the Dole Plantation place, I guess you'd call it. I didn't realize there were so many different kinds of pineapple. Who the heck knew? And let's see, what else did we do? We went down to Turtle Beach. And uh, we uh, hung out on the beach a couple different days, I think twice. Cruised around, we went to the Polynesian Cultural Center. Checked out some of the fire juggler dudes. They actually had some girls doing it this time, which I haven't never seen before. And they had like, like six or seven of them all lined up. And I was taking pictures, you know. And about halfway through, I noticed that uh, some lady came down and tapped this other guy on the shoulder and said, no pictures, please, but I got away with a few. So I'm sneaky. <laughs> um, yeah, so life's been good. I found out that our little buddy Lucas, Lucas was one of the first kids for Kids Heroes that we actually went and uh, uh, did a little appearance for him. I was actually with a different group at the time, but half of those people that were in that um, thing ended up transitioning over to Kids Heroes. Um, he's on his last chemo treatment. I think it's this week or next week. It might be a month away from now. Last bit of chemo. Done. Done with it. Says he's doing really well. I talked to his dad for about 20 minutes the other day. Maybe 15. Um, but he gave me, you know... a a raving report about how well Lucas was doing and how much better he was feeling and looking and all that stuff. And I was like, that is amazing. I am so psyched for you. I just I just couldn't believe uh, all the good news. And then I found out that same day um, that our little, our little buddy Kyle, after his heart surgery, I'm not sure what the numbers mean, but he went from what they said was 20% not oxygenation, something else, 20% to, to 90%. And he's looking flushed and pinkish in the cheeks. And this little boy, he's, I think he's six years old now, maybe he's five. He's a fun kid, pretty shy. He was the one uh, that we uh, met Jeremy Renner with. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, exciting news, exciting news. It's been a great week. And my outlook on everything is just phenomenal. It's been fantastic. I'm super happy about everything. I couldn't be more ecstatic. It's amazing. Everything's wonderful. And I hope you're doing just as well. I hope that you guys have a lot of things going on in your life that is just amazing. So I stopped recording. Luckily, I stopped recording because I had to collect my thoughts. And no sooner did I stop recording, three or four more blocks down the road, 
some guy has driven up on some, you know the island in the middle of the road it's got the kind of the ramp thing and then sometimes there's a sign in the middle of it that says okay no left turn or whatever he drove up over that thing and has he folded his car into a taco hey listen here sonny i caught you doing four miles an hour in the speed zone where you were going four miles an hour over four miles an hour and here i am screwing around i'm stopped at the light though so it doesn't really matter <laughs> hypocrite so here's another thing i'd like to bring up and i don't know if you guys have heard this term before or not i'll try not to hit us so many bumps so i don't know if you guys have heard this term before or not but have you heard rookie mistake have you heard that before okay well i've heard it before and i've, I've thought it um but not recently you know because uh, uh it's just one of those things that kind of come it came into my mind while i was talking about that guy driving up over the thing so i'm like rookie mistake how do you drive up over an island but now i'm, I'm thinking rookie mistake means what a mistake's a mistake is there different degrees of mistakery mistakeisms i don't know so my question is what's the difference between a mistake and a rookie mistake i have no idea i think it's just a mistake and i don't really think there is a difference between the two so another thing i need to mention is that uh my group of friends uh, my kids heroes friends are doing the um the roller coaster ride today roller coaster and uh it's now 7 20 and they've been on it since 5 a.m we did pretty good last time i checked we had around 2200 dollars and our goal was 5,000. um i don't know if they're gonna make it i'm gonna probably post a few more things when i get home about it and uh hopefully they'll they'll make they'll make their funds if not then they're gonna have whiplash necks stiff neck problems for the rest of the week i couldn't make it obviously because i had to work until 7 a.m i kind of expected this would happen but it's okay it's not that big a deal i'm not missing out on a whole bunch other than hanging out with my my bros hanging out with my sisters and my bros i love those guys oh well moving on next adventure <laughs> What's funny is I'm sitting here talking to myself, right, to my phone, because it's convenient and it's gonna work out nicely because I'll be asleep, no, I'll be at work when this has to be published tonight. And uh, while I'm talking on the phone, like here comes this Mini Cooper again, right? He, he keeps looking over. <laughs> he keeps looking over like I'm crazy. Uh, he's partly right. Just funny going down the road talking to yourself. You look nuts. I'm going to run this yellow light. So are the three cars behind me. So who's ready for events? I'm ready for events. Let's talk about events. Events, events, events. Oh boy. So here we go. Club Swag Fitness. Fitness party for... Uh, let's see. This is uh, for singles. And it's free. Club Swag. Free admission. Really? So this is a ballroom dance studio, 3030 Mains. Hey, you know what? I've been here and that's a fun place to be. It's the ballroom dance studio. We've been there uh, a couple times. It's this Thursday, three days from now at 7.30, 9 p.m. Free for singles. So if you like that kind of thing, show up there, peeps. Mind you, this DJ has been doing his, his deal now for quite a while and he's getting actually pretty good. He's getting better every time too. I actually like him. Um, so yeah, Club Swag Fitness. I'm not sure why they're called, it's called fitness, but who cares? Go and dance, shake a tail feather. Next up, Friday at 7 p.m., the Infinity Center, 26 Ethan, 6 South. Buy tickets because this is the Mardi Gras Massive Summer Masquerade. Oh boy, if you like masquerades, that's four days from now. And tickets are available at smithticks.com. These are a lot of fun. If you guys ever done a masquerade ball thing they're a lot of fun and it looks like there's some pretty people going to this one 234 interested so far and they've invited over 7500 people that's that's less than one <laughs> percent but hey hey maybe more people will, will sign up it's four days from now when you ever notice how when you look at an event and it's and it's a couple days out you'll have a good showing but then uh, it gets better as you get closer. And that's the way it should be. Um, it, 
it's really bad if you get less. But no, yeah, so these are a lot of fun. Masquerade Ball, that's on Friday. So we got Thursday and Friday covered for this week so far. Let's see what else we got going on because usually what happens is there's three or four things on the same day at the same ding dang time. And it makes me cuckoo. Cuckoo in the cabeza. In the head, in the head, uh, in the cranial uh, dilio. <laughs> so I called it. The next event is the Superhero Benefit Concert, which is also on Friday, but it's at the penalty box and it starts at 8 p.m., otherwise known as Frankie and Johnny. So if you've been to these things, the penalty box is always a good time. You guys need to just go down there and check it out and have fun and go do the thing that you like to do. Look, real life superheroes need to break from all those lives. You know what, this is so true. It says needs a break from all things serious. If you, if you need a break, seriously, if you need a break, go down to Frankie and Johnny, otherwise known as the penalty box to some of us. It's a good time. And you know, everybody there is so open armed anyway. Like they, they're a really friendly group of people. And I love going down there. But that's Friday, same time as the other one. What if I had to choose? <laughs> Isn't that how it goes though? Ah! Also going on at the same time, Friday at 8 p.m. is also Shelby's birthday anniversary. Birth anniversary. <laughs> the exact same time. Oh my gosh. Look, it got posted twice. You guys. So here's a good one. Here's a good one if you're really interested in this. Saturday at 7 a.m. everyone. If you've done the Timpanogos hike, that's a good one. It takes pretty much the most of the day, and it's a very long hike, and you gain some altitude on that one, but I love that hike. It's beautiful. It's really fun. That's Saturday at 7 a.m., so if you need something to do in the morning on Saturday, go to that. Timpanogos hike. And it looks like Aspen Grove, blah, 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 Utah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, if you know where to start, you'll know where to go. It's on July 16th. That's Saturday at 7 a.m. So that's a ways out, actually. Yeah, that's a few more days out. We're jumping into the next week already. Also Saturday, 10 a.m., the Leonardo Museum has the drone invasion going on. If you like drones, you know, the helicopter with the cameras and the things flying around. Um, super cool, Carlos Melendez is the one that's hip on that. I think he's actually got quite a few now, and he does uh, videography for those things as well. I think he's hireable if you need something like that. So yeah, go do that. And also going on Saturday's Flying Ace All-Stars Freestyle Show. Holy cow, I think that's the ski jumper thing, the Flying Aces. That, or, Flying Aces, that's the airplane. Totally different. This is the Flying Ace All-Star Freestyle Show. Freestyle skiers. So that's a lot of fun to go watch, and they, they do the whole flippity flip flip and land in the pool. That's a lot of fun. And if you're still up there in that area on Saturday at 6 p.m. at 4000 Canyons Resort Drive, you can go to the Park City Summer Concert Series. Guess who's playing? The Whalers! That's also on Saturday. If you like that music, go and check that shiz out. I mean, go and check that out. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. So anyway, that's all we have for events. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday in 168 hours. It has been good to see you guys. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> <laughs>